Okay, next we'll set up our suppliers. Again, we're in the card file. We'll go to card list and we'll click on the supplier tab. We'll then click new and we're going to use a company designation for Tom's Cricket Supplies. So we just enter in the card details there, the tab, and we can put in through uh, an address if we want to. North Perth WA 6000, make it 6001. Uh, with this particular supplier, we'll also be using inventory with them, so we're going to set that to an item. Uh, if we do any purchase orders, we could email those. And again, if we had some terms, we could set those up. Now, we'll just leave those items as they are. I'll just show you one other, though, um, that's quite a useful trick. Now, what we'll do is we'll set up Telstra as a supplier. And I won't worry about contact details. But what I really want to do here is default in, if I just put in a 6 there, and we'll go and find our telephone, 64600. Now what this is going to do is every time I select that supplier, it's automatically going to choose that expense account. Now that will save us a lot of time when we're doing uh, data entry. And there's no need there to send any information. So make sure you default your expense codes for all of your suppliers if known. Again, through the magic of this recording, I've gone and set up Rob's Recreational Supplies as a supplier with the default item layout. Telstra, I've, uh, we've already set them up. Tom's Crickets, we've set up. Officeworks, now same as Telstra, I'll just bring that up. Buying details, I've set in there Office Supplies as a default for uh, Officeworks. And ATO, I've also set them up as a supplier. Um, we'll be using them obviously to pay our bass at the end of the period.